everyone welcome to code something so um yeah i've been like meant to make some videos with um uh computer vision like i had made some setup for for raspberry pi and cameras and um maybe like trying to do some disparity map so i thought maybe i can like make some videos on related to computer vision so I wasn't really sure like how to go about this process, but I thought maybe I can pick some concept and make some videos, um, like explain this concept so we can actually build some cool projects on top of it. So the first concept I picked is the image kernels. So let's see what a kernel is. Let's take an image. So I'm gonna call this image as Let's say I am one. So uh, what we want to do is we want to do some transformation on this image. Um, let's say I'm going to build a function called f of x. So I'm going to put my image into it and get a new image. Let's say I am dash. And I need some transformation need to be done on this image. Maybe like I want to blur this image or I, I want to sharpen this image. Um, so these are the things I want to do. So how do we do these things? So we're gonna build, <coughs> we're gonna use something called as kernels to do this job. So um, a kernel is a matrix which you can use to apply on the image to make some transformation. Let's say we're gonna pick. Um, so for kernel, we're gonna set up a window size. So let's say my kernel is of three cross three. Um, so I'm going to pick three pixels in row and three pixels from column. Um, let's say 0, 1, and 2, 0, 1, and 2. So this is my window. It's going to be having a three cross three and nine pixels. Now for each pixel, it depends on the image you pick. If, it, if it's a, a color image, it's going to have a three channel. That's going to be red, green, and blue. Um, but um, if it's a monochrome or grayscale, it's going to be having a single scalar value. Um, it's going to be varying between 0 and 255. Let's say the pixel value at this point is x. Um, so x will be between 0 and 255 if it's a monochrome. Or if it's a, if it's a color image, then for each channel, the value is going to be between 0 and 255. So it's going to be like x r, x g, and x b. Is going to be between 0 and 25. All right, so based on this value, it's going to apply, you're going to use this matrix to be transforming, tra applying transformation on this um, original matrix. So I'm going to take this pixel values in form of a matrix. So let's say the values are A, B, and C, D, E, and F, G, H, and I. Um, so uh, based on your requirement, you're gonna modify your matrix value. Let's say if you wanna, if you wanna sharpen this image, f s of x, sharpen. So the, the matrix values are gonna be something like zero minus one zero, minus one intensity value. Like let's say five, minus one zero minus one and zero. If you wanna say blur, then the kernel is. Um, one, 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 one. So again, like there are a bunch of these matrices. You just pick on whichever you want and then modify. So uh, the operation is going to be a, not a not a straightforward like a matrix multiplication. It's more like a one to one correspondence multiplication, and then you add them up, something like this: uh, a into zero, plus b into minus one, plus c into zero, plus d into minus one plus e into phi, um, again, like plus f into minus one, and so forth. So when you do this thing, you're gonna get a single scalar value, let's say y. So now, so once we have these values, we need to build a new image. Um, the original um, resolution was 10 cross 10, so when I build a new image of same size, But there's a slight modification. So uh, in the new image, the uh, row zero in the last row, 
and column 0 and the last column that's column 9 so these values are going to be set to uh, 0 which means they correspond to the dark pixels and again these are the values pixels we're going to lose in the, in, the, in the final image so I think let's see how many pixels we're going to lose uh, it's going to be 10 pixels or around 9 pixels because we already counted this pixel so and then again 9 here and then and then yeah, 8 there so it's going to be something like 18 plus 18 um, that's around 36 pixels are going to be lost uh, so yeah so uh, okay so once we have this y value we're going to put this y into this new pixel here that is corresponding to 1 cross 1 so now this window we applied it on this segment right so we move this window to next three pixels that is here and then we apply the same thing again here for the next nine pixels and we're going to get a new value let's say y dash and then we apply this y dash here we keep doing this until we encounter the last pixel here so the new image is going to be transformed to something different either sharpened or blurred or Gaussian blur. So it depends on which function you apply. So this is how the kernel works. Okay, let, let's uh, let's code this thing up on OpenCV and see um, the operation real time. So in the next video, we'll learn to code the kernels. Um, so yeah, please do subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think. Um, if you want to learn something new, you can just comment and I'll make a video about it. Alright, see you there.